Howdy y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how I created these cards using these die cuts. Along with some paint and a gel plate. So let's begin. So all these beautiful brass dies are going to help us create a really fun card. But first, we're going to need to do some die cutting. So we need to start out by die cut by placing our dies onto our cardstock. And we're going to hold that in place using some post-it. Nope, I tried post-its. Um, using some washi tape. I know some people like to use washi tape for designs on their cards or layouts, but I am a firm believer in using washi tape to hold die cuts in place. I sure am. So now I just need to run these dies with the cardstock through my die cutting machine. Now I'm going to use this machine and mostly it's because this machine has a couple of great functions. One is that once your little folded flappy ends come together, it already makes your machine locked in place, but you can rest assured and lock it more into place. Also, I like that I can stick things like more washi or an end for a two-in-one or post-its inside here. So I would call this a great travel companion. Back in the day, when I started going to crops, occasionally you would have a teacher and they would have a die cut machine handy, but I found that the classes I was attending, the teacher had so many students and only one die cutting machine, so I felt like it was best to bring my own. Boy, let me tell you, if this had been around back then, Things would have been a lot easier because it's foldable. Also, you can take the handle off and just stick it in this, stick it in your drawer unit right here. There you go. So, we have run our dies through the machine and let's see what we wound up with. So we now have some fun little snowflake die cuts to work with on our gel plate. And we're going to pull a print using them. So I picked a couple of colors out. I picked out Blue Lullaby by Folk Art and Surfboard, which is a Delta Creative Ceram Code acrylic paint color. I'm going to use my speedball brayer. Let's see how well that can get spread. Okay, so then we're just going to take some of these snowflakes and stick them in here wherever we feel like. There you go, those are all the snowflakes I have right now. So we'll just take our brayer, use it over this to help us pull the print. Let's see what we come up with. Well, that's pretty. And if we remove our snowflakes, 
we can pick up another print, I think. This one, this one's really pretty, I think. I will get back to y'all when we know, well, when the paint has dried, for sure. Not just on these, but also on the prints that we just pulled, okay? I wanna thank y'all for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope y'all had as much fun as I did. And remember, you can Use your die cuts in any way that sparks creativity for you. Such as using a gel plate and making some gel prints. Here are some of the other gel prints we made today. Yeah, I know this one is the one that I liked the best. And then of course I really loved how the snowflakes turned out. Remember, I hope y'all stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty. Bye.